Hey, hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is the 18th of June of year zero, and I am pretty freaking happy right at this exact moment. Yeah, let's get that up there to reduce the sound. Um, we are finally, we were finally at the moment. It is the moment I've been waiting for. We can finally forge our chisel. We can finally make a saw. Oh, we're going to have to do some copper expeditions. There's no doubt about that. And would be awesome if we could come up with more tin. You may notice uh, a bit of a difference in the window. And we're going to step outside here. Uh, hello. I have added in a volumetric shading mod. Just to add that little bit of immersion. We'll see what happens. Um, it looks good. I'm not sure that is compatible with our sky mod, though. Looks like the sun is looking a bit dim there. We'll give it a go. We'll see. We'll see if it's worth having a funky looking sun. Oh, man. Hey, you. What are you doing in my moat? keep hitting tab to open my inventory because I've been playing seven days to die. Speaking of which, if you have not noticed, I am doing basically about one hour episodes of seven days to die each day, along with the vintage story episodes. And the reason for it is really quite simple. Um, I am getting very, very close to the mark where I am going to be able to finally go back to a monetized channel. You need 4,000 hours of view time from your fans in a one day, or a one, I'm sorry, a one year period. And we're a little over 3,000. Need about 900 hours of view time left. And so, since you guys are amazing, the, the percentage of you who watch it, these vintage story videos literally from beginning to end even though some of them get to be 40 minutes long is amazing you've just made such an astounding difference in those numbers i may make it within the within the one year period it's going to be close oh hello yeah not even <laughs> i saw you archer duel Yeah. Getting a lot of variation on these long flights. Come on, one more. Ah. There we go. Oh, our trees have come in. Beautiful linden tree. Got another one, huh? Gotta look for a spot to get up. Get my arrows. Take that, Bennett. Sure, we don't have any more here. Looter, that would be nice. Get some veggies. All right. Good start to the day. I 
don't think it'll be today, but sometime in the very, very near future, there's going to be a little bit of landscaping over here, and we're going to enclose some of these animals and start domesticating them. Now that we've made the trip over to that Roman garden and gotten our loot, where we can start focusing on some other things. All right, more arrows here somewhere. There they are. Any overshots up this way? I don't see any. I think we got them. This this bandit mod is just such a great addition. It really is. Oh, we got a candle. That makes me so happy. You cannot imagine how happy that makes me. Was worth getting shot at. That's for sure. All right, let's get this fella sorted out. Because it is time. Ah, Seguenya, going to make me a chisel home. All right, let's do this thing. What's up, crabby face? You gonna leave me be? You can't go in my castle. I will make you a crabby patty. Don't even. What do we get here? Oh, we we've still got our green spire cypress to plant. Oh my goodness. Where is the question? They're, they're the real cone-shaped Dr. Seuss-looking trees. Maybe we'll hold on to them and we'll uh, plant them along the perimeter of the village when the time comes. Let's do that. All right, let's, uh, let's get on the job here. I'm excited. Tuck those away. And... Our kitty mask. Barber surgeon mantle. Our prince fur. We've got kind of a nice little collection of clothes here. We also have another huntsman's tunic, which we're going to be able to sell to get more gears. All right. Today is the day. Shoot right over here so that the light is good. Hammer. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Get our tongs. And our hammer. While that's heating, we're going to just grab some jerky. Poor Grit's going to... Poor Grit's going to think I'm coming to murder him, rushing at him with a hammer. Excuse me, Grit. Jerky... Just one or two to stop the evil sound, and we'll we'll eat more as we as we need to. 
I definitely like this trapdoor setup better for the uh, for the gold cellar. Nice to have all our doors on. Might do a little rearranging of the doors, put the aged wood ones in certain areas and the new ones in other areas. Ah, uh, perfecto. Chisel. Here we go. everything that's everything very very simple chisel and we got some copper bits back from it come back here copper bits why did you jump out of my inventory stop that saw where are you saw lightning rod really interesting don't know what out of that in copper saw blade there we go Did I ever? Oh, no. Darn it. So because of the big crowd of text there, I missed the end of it, which means I need another ingot to complete it. And we don't have one. Well, we will get there. Guess I'm gonna have to do a little casting. Oh, we already got one in the fire here. Takes 20 pieces to smelt into a copper ingot. That will create 60 units of copper. Bronze. Uh, 
And that's why that bits mod is, is so nice. We get that material back. In fact, we might as well, as long as we're doing this, um, you know, let's let's not use the malachite because we can actually use that to create green dye. But we might as well pour two ingots as long as we're going to do this. Two hundred units of copper. I'm actually going to grab this black coal and we're going to start the fire with um, well I was going to start the fire with uh, <laughs> some wood but we don't have any wood to start it with so let's toss those in there Sure, I'm at a distance where I don't set myself on fire. There we go. I need to do a cooling tank down here. And that's one of the first things we're going to do with the chisel is we're going to make a cooling tank. to temperature. I'm just going to pick that guy up, put him back there for when we're ready. We are going to make a cooling tank. We are going to build an actual forge. I have got plans. I am so happy to have the chisel. The chisel is just going to unlock my world here. And I think we may even be able to get this accomplished with just these uh, two pieces of black coal, which would be very nice. Normally, I'll heat it up to 700 degrees with wood just so it saves us a little bit of coal. But in this case, since two pieces is likely to be enough to get us there, I wasn't too worried about that. And, of course, I would have had to grab wood and make firewood. And don't even want to deal with that right now. Just want to get this up to temp and pour these ingots. We'll run up to the kitchen and we'll uh, drop the chisel into the water up there to cool it off. And there it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Put that back in the fire where it belongs. And we are golden. We'll have to hold on to the tongs because the chisel will probably be too hot to handle by the time we get up there. Take a shortcut. It's pretty, still pretty darn warm there. Oh, didn't quite make it. Try it again. Excuse me. Oh, 
Come on now. Don't be ridiculous. There we go. All right. Fill our belly. Now we can actually cook with this, to my understanding. Not gonna bother to cook with it at this moment. I'm just gonna get our hunger bar about half full, because we got things to do, and I am far too excited. Grab this. Excuse me, Grit. And we're going to make Grit a booth. I've been getting a little tired of him being on the stairs all the time, and I think that if we make it in the correct location, we can set up a booth for Grit. Make him a sign and everything. Because, I mean, after all, he is... Selling food, you know, I mean, if he's going to be our kitchen guy. All right, well, we're just going to set that down right there for a moment. And it's time to get magnificent. All right. Put that up there for the moment. So we're going to move a few things. They're still mighty warm. Store these away because we're going to make use of them um, down here in the kitchen for a certain amount of awesomeness. Stepped on the ingots.
think we have to add a stick to this, if I remember. Yep, there we go. Soldering iron. What? What? Ah, for goodness sake. So, that's a little frustrating. But, I mean, not hugely frustrating. Things happen. Lesson learned. I didn't even realize there was a soldering iron. You know, I, I normally don't do a lot of the automation stuff just because it's not really my style, I guess you'd say. Uh, no. Pour it. Oh, that's right. Control right click. There we go. That there. We got 85 degrees. We should be able to pick them up now. Yeah, yeah, stop it. Didn't think it was quite still that warm. <sighs> Gonna have to have both forges here to do this. <sighs> All right. Um... We'll work it one at a time. We're going to make this happen. Oh, already in my inventory, right? Right. Okay. Get this done real quick. Should not take all that long for it to heat back up. We're going to bring it up to high temperature, put it on the anvil, and then throw an ingot on, and we should come out all right. And just a little more. There we go, nice bubblegum pink. It is fixed. Yeah, I uh, normally I don't use all the shoots and all that stuff, and of course that's what you have to use a soldering iron to to solder together. And uh, I just never use it. So lesson learned, like I say. Found you. I'd have to put one more piece of coal on there. It is okay. Get this done. Thwarted by a door, which is good. Go. 
see, if we were doing vanilla, we'd have just lost a lot of material but because we have the mod that gives us back the bits that we chop off. Not a big deal. <laughs> 